Hey everyone, I'm Lacey Mazzilli, and this is your series preview from Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T. Players weekend has come and gone, and over the weekend, the Yankees took two of three from Seattle, all while notching 28 hits. The Yanks will now face the Cleveland Indians for a three-game set starting on Monday night. The Yankees and Indians split a four-game series earlier this month, and the Bombers have actually won 10 of their last 18 series against Cleveland, dating back to 2009. The two teams enter this series pretty evenly matched. The Yankees offense ranks fourth in the American League with a 261 batting average, while the Indians are fifth. Cleveland boasts a 3.60 ERA, the best in the AL, while the Yankees aren't too far behind with a 3.79 earned run average, which is third in the league. With Cleveland in town, it'll be another big AL showdown for the Yanks as they continue to make a push for a division title. In Cleveland earlier this month, D.B. Gregorius led the charge with seven hits in 17 at-bats, good enough for a 412 average. Headley, Judge, Sanchez, and Todd Frazier all homered. Both teams have been on the winning track since their last matchup, so the next few days will prove to be some exciting baseball. Winning ball games is the ultimate goal, and in order to do so, you need quality starting pitching. For the Yanks rotation, they've been excellent, completing seven innings in four of their last six games. The Yankees staff has also allowed three earned runs or fewer in a season-best 14 straight starts, going 7-1 with a 2.63 ERA over that span. The starters have been keeping the runs off the board while the offense have been piling the runs on. And this past weekend, it was Jacoby Ellsbury's turn to shine. Jacoby hit a three-run homer on Saturday against Seattle and contributed four of the six RBIs in the win. Ellsbury slugged 800 this past weekend and paced the team with six ribbies. Since August 11th, the Yankees outfielder has hit safely in seven straight starts and has multiple RBIs in six of his last ten starts. In game one of the series, Luis Severino will battle Corey Kluber in what should be a pitching duel. Sevy earned his 11th win of the season on Wednesday in Detroit. The young righty has allowed one earned run or fewer in seven of his eight starts since the All-Star break. Over that same span, Sevy is tied for the major league lead in wins and ranks fourth among AL starters with a 2.16 ERA. Severino faced Cleveland earlier this month and got the W, going six and two-thirds innings, allowing just two hits while striking out nine. Tuesday's pitching matchup will be lefty Jaime Garcia against righty Trevor Bauer. Garcia faced the Indians in his Yankees debut but didn't have his best stuff as he allowed five earned runs and five hits while also walking four batters. He has yet to complete six innings in an outing for the Yankees and will look to change that on Tuesday night. The series finale will be a Wednesday afternoon game with CeCe Sabathia on the mound against Josh Tomlin. CeCe has been awesome this year. Sabathia has tossed six or more innings in three of his last four starts. In 11 career starts against Cleveland, the big lefty is 4-3 with a 3.65 ERA. The Yankees are creeping up on Boston, now trailing the Sox by just two and a half games in the American League East. A strong series against Cleveland could set the stage for a huge weekend of baseball as Boston visits the Bronx. For Yankees On Demand, presented by AT&T, I'm Lacey Mazzilli.